I was recommended this video right here. How Pat God took over YouTube. And I'm very interested to see how he did it. After Pat God was completely deplatformed by his closest friends, he lost everything he had worked for in the past three yeah. years. However, despite experiencing such a demotivating experience, Pat God managed to achieve an insane comeback with his channel growing rapidly and him being able to roast incredibly big creators like I Show Speed, Sneeko, or Didion. But this yeah. insane growth leaves us with a few questions. What led How did to he Pat do God's it? massive success? You know what and what's so special about him? That he got a shout out from KSI? Or that he was able to roast YouTubers with an extremely loyal fan base? To fully mm. understand Packard's rise to fame, we need to get a rough understanding of the backstory of him losing everything and especially his connection to KSI. Packard started his YouTube journey after he joined a Discord server that was created by a guy named Leg. This server was about roasting other people in a Discord voice call in a funny way while still rhyming with random words. This procedure okay. later went by the name Packing. This way, Packard managed to gain much experience about roasting people on Discord while being fun, entertaining, and simultaneously being able to rhyme with random words. So my question is, if it was Leg's server, technically didn't Leg help out Packard in the beginning? Did Leg put Packard on? Packard managed to gain much experience about roasting people on Discord while being fun, entertaining, and simultaneously being able to rhyme with random words and phrases. The owner of the Discord server Talented. named Leg uploaded clips on his YouTube channel of people in the Discord server packing each other. Those videos okay. each gained a reasonable number of views. After some time, Packard got to know the Discord owner leg and they formed a close friendship with each other. Okay, so together, away, right? they both started a channel named Void, where they were okay. uploading diss tracks of internet personalities like Pokimane, Jake Paul, and Ricegum, which gained so much traction that they eventually ended up multiple times in KSI subreddit with thousands mm. of uploads. Ricegum diss track, credit Void. Oh, okay. Bro, Void is on fire these days. Whoa, Void! That was mad! <laughs> Since they uh? ended up on KSI subreddit repeatedly, KSI started to notice them and really liked the diss tracks they produced, which allowed What's the Void up? channel, which later ended up having 450k subscribers, to bond and have a connection with KSI. However, on the 23rd of August in 2022, Pat God woke up with shocking news. You changed the password on the Instagram and kicked me off it. You changed the password on our Twitter and kicked me off it. You changed the password on our SoundCloud and kicked me off it. You changed Damn. the password on our Spotify and kicked me off it. Many people probably thought that this would be the end of Pat God. At that time, even Pat God was on the verge of completely giving up on YouTube. Look at his face, y'all. Oh my God. Thought that this would be the end of Pat God. At that time, even Pat God was on the verge of completely giving up on YouTube, as he states on his Twitter account. After Damn. such a horrible incident, many people would have given up on trying to be successful on youtube and True. just moved on but packard is not many people packard didn't want the work he put in over the last three years to go to waste so he had no other choice but to keep grinding arguably packard being kicked out of the void channel and his work becoming basically useless is the best thing that could have happened yes after Took his uploading career. a video titled how my best friend betrayed me and stole three years of my life work many people in the comment section sided with packard in this whole drama packard got my respect faith and belief this man right, carried the channel on. i seen it it's always like different sides of the story i don't know leg story so i might be a pack guy dick rider you know what i'm saying shout, hey shout out pack guy you said me music got me pack up got my respect faith and belief this man carried the channel i seen it firsthand during my time working with void he deserves some respect on his name it's crazy True. how anyone can respect leg after this i respect how you're being the bigger man in all this i too hope justice will be served this man got everything taken away from him and built his own channel from the ground after that absolute legend but after this video was published Bird. the future was looking very bright for pack god a reddit yeah. user published a post on the r slash case i subreddit explaining this whole situation which eventually ended up on jj's video where he reacted to the post I mean, JJ, on the subreddit. after getting a bit more informed about the situation and listening to the diss track pack god made about his ex-partner leg ksi decided to do something that would decide the future of pack god's channel Fuck off void. Yeah, let's just make Pat God the fucking goat. I got you, bro. I subscribed. Let's subscribe. Yo, let's get him to over 100k, man. If we can get void to have less subscribers than Pat God, then we've done a fucking madness. Literally, everyone watching, just subscribe That's to Pat God. Shit. Let's go, That's some real shit. That's some real shit, bro. Subscribe to Pat God. Let's go. As a result of KSI shouting out Pat God, the Pat God channel gained many subscribers and views, which becomes clear through him currently closing up on 2 million 1. subscribers. Which is 20 I know that nigga has way more than that, bro. Hey, I saw a W fucking guy, I tell you what. That's what the fuck I love to see. Remember, 
that the Void channel only had around 450,000 subscribers before it got destroyed. So Packard leaving the Void channel did not only give his channel an extreme boost in following, but also made Packard way more independent and free, since he does Pets. not have any social boundaries anymore. He is also free to do anything he likes with his channel and has complete control over it, since it is only owned by himself. He still That's has a friend lit. he actively makes videos with, who goes by the name Slashes. But unlike before, they both have separate channels which really shows that Packard learned from his mistakes. But I such a big following like Packard's <laughs> millions of subscribers or such incredibly high view counts with every video that he uploads don't come with just one random shoutout. So there must be something about Packard that differentiates him from other entertainment YouTubers. Was, but what was. is it that makes Packard so unique and incredibly entertaining? The biggest and most obvious quality of Packard that contributes to his massive success is his ability to roast people by forming rhymes that not only personally attack the people that he is roasting but he also does it in a way where it is extremely hilarious and almost feels like an honor to be roasted by Packard. If you don't get your eyes so speed, dried out weed, body built like an anal bead, headphone wire, deflated tire, farted in the mic and caught a fire, chicken pox, dirty socks, ayo everyone, go and follow the crypto scam, orange cram, this is actually one of my favorite ones. Dirty toes, sloppy joe, quick down, This becomes clearly evident through the Twitter replies Packard <laughs> receives from his fans. Yo Packard, can you roast me on my birthday? It's coming next month and it will be great. Yo, roast do you know how crazy you had to be? You won't give any chance to me, noob, cause you're scared, lol. People really wanna get roasted by this guy. That's like insane to think about. They wanna get flamed up, banged up, right now they're trained up. All right, I don't even know why I tried that shit. Why would I even do that? Roast me please with messages. You won't give any chance to me, noob, cause you're scared, lol. Packard, I need you to roast me in Discord VC. You can roast me very easily, so yeah. It's unclear if People Packard get does his roast by reading off a script or if he just randomly thinks of them on the go. However, That's my question. in a video where Packard is roasting the fake Mr. Beast, it seems like he's just randomly thinking of them. He is also extremely okay. fluent in his speech and you can't find him stuttering even in the slightest in any of his videos. Keemstar noticed than me. the massive qualities of Packard speaking, so they both started a podcast together named Packard and Keem, in which they interview certain personalities that are currently involved in drama. I don't like but that for I you, Pack. The reason for Packard's success goes way deeper than just him being entertaining. Since Packard lost everything, he suddenly became the underdog in the whole Leg vs Packard situation. After Leg had accused Packard of being a predator, he made multiple videos in which he successfully cleared himself from all allegations he had faced because of the drama. Everybody wanted to support him to see him grow. Not only his old fans from the Void channel, but also the fans that KSI sent. Everybody loves up, to root for an underdog because it they symbolize true. courage and determination. That's Since Rocky Packard movie? is loved and idolized by his audience, he is able to build such an incredibly huge and loyal community, which becomes that? clearly evident through the number of members he has in his Discord server. Despite Packard closing up on 2 million subscribers, his Discord server has a staggering number of 250,000 members that. with over 800 boosts. It's hard to find the hashtag Damn. general channel to be inactive. But what's also worth stating is that the people are also actively trying to pack other people just like Packard does it. Not only Aww. in a voice channel, but also via text in a channel called chat packing. The activity <laughs> on his Discord server reflects yeah. just how influential Packard is Damn. and how loyal his fanbase has become. But not only Shout the out. audience building helped Packard to succeed on YouTube. I believe Packard's videos also have some sneaky tactics that increase his views and his average view duration, which like ultimately what? leads to his videos getting promoted more. When you click on one of his videos, you get slowly introduced into Packard's interaction with the most random people like furries or even EDP 445. But once you progress a few minutes into the video, there's so much happening at once that you just can't help but keep watching the video. And after nah, you watch yeah, the video, true. it was such an amazing experience that you want to watch it again and you won't get sick of it. Maybe after after your second he might be glazing a little bit but it, you know it is true it is true i do enjoy the videos i don't know what the fuck be going on half the time what he be saying but that but that but, but shit it do be good such an amazing experience that you want to watch it again and you won't get sick of it maybe after your second watch you start noticing or understanding lines that you didn't understand before or you can actually focus on the different reactions of different people his videos are also built similarly to a song that any person listens to since he's basically rhyming on a beat which is another factor to why people keep coming back to his videos this might not be the case for everyone watching his videos but okay, for example I, I, I on a video titled pack god versus furry hey Discord hey hey server, i'm getting spoiled he's in a channel with six other people 
that are showing their face. But while watching the video, the leader. Whoa! I don't know if I should watch this. I gotta react to that soon. He's in a channel with six other people that are showing their face. But while watching the video, the leader can only focus on one reaction at a time. So in that order to see the reaction of the other furries in the channel, they need to watch the video again, which brings the video more views and more it's average view duration. It's too smart. And then the viewer clicks on his channel and looks at other content he puts out. But now he's roasting their favorite YouTubers like I Show Speed. Then the viewer starts binge watching all of Packout's videos. And True. since he spent so much time with Packout and saw how funny he is, why not join his Discord server to see what's going on there? He got it. In almost every video, Packout advertises his Discord server in a pinned comment. He does it in a way where he directly promises the viewer to gain something from joining. He writes the message, join my Discord server if you want to be in my videos. And before you know it, you have become a part of Packout's community and might even that start listening to this right. tracks he made on other people like I Show Speed and Alex Wasabi. Packout also collaborates with other comedic figures such as Cooper2723 and Duber43, which both are extremely hilarious people that have this persona <laughs> where they are stuck in 2007. Because of two arguably what opposite personalities colliding, it leads to incredibly entertaining conversations which are uploaded on the YouTube channel of Packout's friend named Slashist. Okay. <laughs> Laid. Your grandma's getting laid? <laughs> but there's one singular reason that is responsible for Packard's success. Without this, Packard wouldn't be successful in the slightest. I wouldn't be making this video about him and he would probably have around zero subscribers on YouTube. And that is his determination not to give up. To put it in the words of the esteemed physician Albert Einstein, in the middle of every difficulty lies opportunity. Which mm. becomes very clear through this unbelievable comeback of Packard.